Hey, what's up, guys? It's Spencer from Games Going More back again with another tutorial. And uh, today it's going to be a lighthouse. But okay, we're going to be making a lighthouse. Uh, I. And uh, we're gonna be using spruce wood and uh, oak wood shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But the materials we're gonna be using is down here. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Ugh, toss cam fell. Um, but okay, to start out, we are going to start with a double pillars, and we're going to build up our usual four blocks. For my usual base and we are going to um, go over five blocks and I usually just place a block there if you guys have seen me do that before I just to know that there's a center in between because you you supposed to use odd numbers when you build because it, it's easier for designs and stuff so there's a middle so yeah so you use a space of five and we're gonna go ahead and do that all around with double pillars so yeah like double pillars I mean the two pillars diagonally so just go ahead and do that everywhere all around all four sides around the world um, here we go okay uh, and yeah I kinda have a cheat sheet right here to know like how to do it so if you guys see me looking at that I'm just gonna tell you right now that's what that is so yeah um but uh, the next thing we do is we're gonna go ahead and get uh, right in the corner of the double pillars um, on the inside and the first part is the base and so this part we're gonna go up uh, I'm gonna say five blocks it's gonna be a little bit longer than the other one uh, whatever it's called lighthouses are tall they're supposed to be really tall so because they're supposed to help people see in the dark with the light so oh god it's cold in this room uh yeah so now the next part is you find the middle right here you don't i'm gonna delete this but you just gotta place right in the middle right there you place a block so a few blocks or one two two blocks in from the inside right in the middle but make sure it's over not overhanging but lined up but overhanging considering that it's supposed to, it goes with this part and line it up with the top and just go ahead and do that all the way around ah uh, yeah so I was just drinking my sun kissed I love sun kissed I love soda I love sun kissed Mason has a lot of soda in his house whenever I come over I drink a lot of soda and I'm really cold now I shouldn't have drank my soda okay well anyways um, this is what uh, it looks like and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make uh, the whatever it's called uh, the dividing wooden part thing yo and for that we're gonna be using just blocks all the way around and we are or actually I messed up I'm sorry do not do that I'm, I'm sorry do not do that do not place blocks I'm used to doing that for my other builds please do not do that um, what I'm actually going to be doing is um, on these I'm going to be going like this with the stairs and uh, oh we're going like this okay we're going to get blocks or we're gonna go like that and then there's gonna be stairs all around like that like so and that's what that's gonna look like so yeah actually I guess you did need to use blocks I got confused but anyways whatever it doesn't matter um, yeah just wherever the the stair thing is right there just go like that to make it look realistic and do do the blocks god I was wrong on the block thing but anyways um yeah we're gonna go like that and yeah you do place blocks all around 
I'm an idiot. I feel like an idiot now. It's okay, Spencer. You're okay. Uh, I feel like a weirdo talking in the camera, just talking about myself. I'm just sitting in a room talking. I guess I'm talking to you guys. You guys can keep me company. You guys are good company. Okay. Well, anyways, um, that is the bottom of the thing of the lighthouse. Um, now we're going to build up like this and this one is going to be r way taller but um, before we go up however many blocks I'm going to show you where you need to build. Oh and it's raining and I'm going to go ahead and sleep so you guys don't have to watch a tutorial in the dark and rain because um, I'm a nice guy like that you know. I'm a nice dude. But Mm. Sun kissed, but yeah. So now um, we're just gonna go ahead and place. Whoa! Oh, I placed that in the wrong place. Don't place that there. But so basically, what we're doing is uh, we're going one behind uh, everything, but like, or one behind the ones in the front. And then right here on the ones in the corner, we're gonna go diagonally back one. That's how we do towers usually. And we're gonna go ahead and do that all the way around. The whole thing. I'm sorry if my controller is loud, it probably is. I should probably move it. I don't know, I'll try to be quieter. But, okay. And this part is gonna go um, up quite a few that goes up like oh I'm gonna count them out so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten is that too tall nope that's good um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and go ten blocks for this part and make it nice and tall because I told you guys Lighthouses are tall and they're gonna be big and tall. And so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and yeah. There. So, now, now we got something looking like this. We're gonna go ahead and do the divider thing again. And uh, this one, we're gonna go place a block on that and place blocks all the way around like this, like so. Oops. Uh, Y'all. Yeah. I'm pretty excited we're about to hit a, not a thousand, but we're about to hit like 900 and that's close to a thousand. So here in a couple weeks, we should be coming up on a thousand. So we're thinking about doing a face reveal for that. All right. You guys should tell us if you want to see our faces. But um, anyways, back to the tutorial. We're gonna go um, get our stairs and we're going to um, go like that all the way around on everything to where there's a little thing poking out and I'll go back and fix that to where it looks good like this and we're going to get our slabs and go like this around that so it looks like that dun 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 this look good I didn't make a difference. I'm gonna go like okay, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, so now, um, for this next part, uh, I need to talk to you about it. Um, it's gonna be like, uh, I, as I made this build. I realized that it ended up looking kind of similar to something Madness 64 has done. And I just knew that a lot of people will be saying that I copied him. And honestly, this is just a technique you use when you build a tower. And especially medieval. Medieval stuff ends up looking the same. Because especially when I'm using oak wood like this. Um, I'm kind of using... I mean, he uses oak wood. Uh, oak wood, the real wood. and But I'm using oak wood planks. I'm using spruce wood. But yeah, it's going to look... It, I mean, it, there's a tower. I think he has a tutorial on that he does this on. But I'm not copying. I realized after the fact that it was like that. Mason actually pointed it out. So, okay. Anyways, um, yeah. Anyways, what you're going to do is 
you're going to go to these ones that are sticking out in the middle that represent the middle and you're going to make a little Y shape one block up you guys could see me do that and you're going to build up one two three four all the way around um y'all and now you get something looking like this and uh yeah that is what it looks like um i'm going to now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take out since there's no dividing part right here you take out your stairs or actually to make this easier just go ahead and place blocks over all of the spruce wood and now we're going to go like this over all of it over the front parts and um, yeah and then we're gonna go like this over the top right here and for the middle part you go like that I'll try to go slower uh, yeah for the middle part just go right here and place blocks oops and now we are going to place two more blocks like so and go ahead and connect them like this to where now it looks like well, it looks like it's just one fluent thing and not all broken up and div divided divided oh someone's calling me they're gonna be ignored and so um <clears throat> now we are going to on these parts we're going to have uh this facing like there's going to be four separate parts for the roof in this part we're going to add two inward facing stairs and then oh not a stair right there like that and there's going to be that all the way around oops like this and we're going to place blocks right here on the inside there it's up mason and we're going to place blocks on the inside of the stairs and um right here yeah we're going to place a slab right there and um Oops, I placed freaking I did it again. Um don't put stairs there, put slabs. And now we're going to um place blocks behind um to to where it makes like a triangle. Like this. And on every corner go like or every end part that's not in the diagonal like it's the front facing things place a stair go like this to make it nice and skinny looking and uh, now we're gonna get blocks and go like that just one block up and we're gonna go like that and to where it comes to a point we'll have a nice pointed roof over that and so there is your outline for your lighthouse. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and fill in like designs and all that. So let's start at the bottom as if I was building it regularly. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make a doorway. Uh, a, it's not going to be like a doorway that goes all the way around uh, like on every side. I mean, I guess you guys can if you want a doorway on all four sides, but I think a doorway should only be on one. 
So, instead of doing like a different point or a different roof ending, I'm just going to go like that where it's just hanging off one um, with the planks because I think it looks cool on this build. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to get out our materials that we're going to be using for the actual designs. And uh, for this, I'm going to use cobblestone, uh, stone, and uh, brickstone. And then I'm going to get the stairs for cobblestone and that. Oh, I don't have enough room. I'm going to use my bed. Okay, and we'll go back and add details afterwards. What? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do one side for designs because it'll be the same all the way around to save time so you guys don't have to watch me build the whole thing so I'm gonna go ahead and I want actually I'm gonna want the bottom to be cobblestone sorry I kinda want the bottom to be a have a cobblestone look and then as it goes up it'll change materials and so uh, go ahead and just fill it in back right there and I think right next to this wood is where you want to see some indention so that's where that should go like that oh actually you know what I mean if you want to fill this in right here and add another stair right there that's an optional thing I'm not gonna do it um and so for like you know for some detail uh, just add that and I'll go ahead and I'm gonna add fencing on the later on but just so a supporting look I always add stairs all you can do that all the way around and uh yeah, I'm going to show you what design I would use on the bottom around for the parts that don't have a doorway. Uh, <clears throat> I would probably find the middle and, you know, do something like that. And I would go like this. I'd get cobblestone and I'd place two blocks go like that and then like that and then place another one right here to where it makes a neat little design like that and I would do that all the way around for the parts that aren't on a doorway but for these parts up here since they're going to be the same on all four sides I'm only going to do the front side and then at the top I'm going to do it all the way around because there's no real design so <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into it um, this of course would be one place where you'd fill this in with wood right here and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i don't know for whatever reason and uh yeah so now i'm gonna use my cobblestone i'm gonna just fill it in at first and um i'm gonna go ahead and on the inside i would fill this actually i'm gonna put a window there so um I'm going to go ahead and go like this and break out a window. And right here, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to leave that just like how it is. So it'll look natural. So it'll look better. And there's, you can use iron bars or glass panes, but one thing I would do Actually, no, this is kind of cramped, so... Um, yeah, iron bars or glass panes or fencing for the window, but for a lighthouse, I'm probably going to use glass panes because that's what I'm going to be using at the top because it just looks more lighthousey, like so. And for uh, this part, I'm going to use stone, and I don't think I'm going to be using my stone brick for this build. Uh, sorry... I just don't think that it fits a lighthouse very much. Um, so, yeah. Um, this would also be another point to where you would fill in your uh, thingaling. You'd fill in a floor. Like this. And uh, there. We're going to go ahead and fill in our stone all the way all the way to the top and um I'm actually uh should I add a window? 
Um, I'm not going to add a window on that part because that part is like the long part that goes up. So I'm going to like not add a window to it because I don't know. I don't think that makes very much sense because there'd be a spiral staircase going up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and not add a window. I don't know if I filled it in all the way. Okay. Yeah, I did. Um, so I'm going to go back with cobblestone and since I would use stone stairs but there are no stone stairs to add like indentions and stuff um, so I'm just gonna find a point where I can use some cobblestone and I'm gonna just make like a little patch of cobblestone to make it look more like mixed material you know just not boring and flat so yeah I'm gonna probably do yeah like that and if it's all the same on the whole side, it'd look good. And so now for this, um, get out some fencing, and I'm gonna just and you use those right here instead of upside down stairs. Um, that's what I usually use, just in like uh, in any situation where I would use upside down stairs, I just use fencing instead. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this in on the inside all the way around. And I'm going to, you put in glass panes, where these little spaces right here where they're not diagonal. In there, oops. And yeah, do that all the way around. On this top part, I said I'm going to make it go, I'm going to make it all the way around. In case there's anything I want to do. So yeah, now I'm going to, I'm going to uh, get out my or actually not get out but I'm gonna fill in this part right here hey guys sorry for that small interruption um, I had to do something real quick but um, I was right here on this part and the best thing to use is cobblestone around right here where place it right on that and I usually don't do that to where they're touching like that I've actually never done that before but I mean I guess you can and uh, one problem is that this is gonna be sticking out right here um, if you if it bothers you enough you can go like that but it'll make it look more boxy so and on the inside there'll be the top of that but which honestly isn't a big deal to me but um yeah oh wait no but it'll mess up the stone so there might be mixed materials right there but i don't think it's that big of a deal and so um for the inside you guys i'm gonna break this for the inside um there's two ways to go uh you can use fire which will probably burn down everything but if you have there's like probably some mod or something you can use to where or to have fire spreads off or like whatever there's stuff you can do to get around that but if you want to have your fire spreads off fire make it look more authentic um, but it probably will burn down everything because there's wood so um, if you are going to use fire I'm going to show you two different designs um, the first thing I would I would uh, use stone brick and uh, stone brick slabs and netherrack. Uh, yeah, it's on the first page. Netherrack is right there. And then I'm going to get this out. And just a real simple beacon, just like this, the way around. And I'm going to place this like that. And like that but that'll definitely catch your crap on fire so I don't know if you guys want to do that um, so see it's, or it's already caught it already caught something on fire so what I would do is go with the safer way which is glowstone and trapdoors um, it looks it still looks fine just find the middle go all the way down Oops. go all the way down and place trap doors all the way around I'm not gonna do it obviously just do that all the way around to the top okay so um, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some details with fencing just make it look like some supports and whatnot so 
this. Um, I'm gonna go right here and right here and place that right there, like that, like a fence at the bottom. And yeah, and a plank on the fence. So for right here, um, you guys, uh, right under this window, I would go like this, just to add detail for the whole thing. And that will connect right there. So what I would do is I would go like this and make that connect to the top. I'm just doing terrible. Okay, pretend like that was a stair. You guys saw me build that. I don't feel like getting out stairs. Okay, and um, yeah, just go ahead and do that all the way around. And so now um, for this part, uh, if you guys are have are some overachievers out there, you can do stuff like this, like that, and you know, and then on this, on the corners, you can do it again. Um, but honestly, um, for this long part, you don't want it to look overdone with details because you can do that really fast. Trust me, it, it's not a good look when that happens. So um, I wouldn't overdo it on that. So, uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, I definitely add some, some details, but just don't go overboard on the details. So yeah, um, this was, uh, a fun build to make. I made it a while ago, but, uh, I mean, I, I, I really enjoy making these videos, so it helps a lot if you like, rate, comment, subscribe. We try to get it to 50 likes because we, you want to have a good like to dislike ratio. It helps us, uh, it helps us more than you think. Um, and it'll make us make better videos and, uh, definitely leave a suggestion in the comment, comments and try to get us to a thousand subscribers. So see you guys later. Bye bye.